solar system, otherwise intelligent beings would take a tiny globe and throw it not at the planets, but directly at the sun. Sometimes the object would strike a force field and return. To launch larger projectiles, they developed methods of imparting high velocity. Special communication devices introduced new thought and possibilities. Ideas and experience thus converging, the inquiring mind was hit with a breakthrough. Why not apply the force vertically? Unfortunately, even a very good scientist has trouble making a projectile of this type go more than about a hundred feet up. However, if on its way up we let some air out of the projectile and change its shape a little bit, we may be able to add another zero to our result. But how will we find experts to help us as we try to fulfill nature's call? In the frozen lower left-hand corner of Canada, a small group of scientists at Anti-Gravity Research Corporation has been doing groundbreaking experimental work to lay the foundations for a future that's truly up in the air. Their highly automated manufacturing facility works around the clock to keep the entire world supplied with rockets. And their very cooperative robotic workers keep production moving along smoothly. Before producing their own rockets, they tried every available alternative. But instead of soaring skyward, they struggled at gluing, sanding, painting, instructions, complex geometric shapes, searching for parts, and lighting things on fire. Not a moment too soon, they stumbled across the idea for their VaporTech line of rockets, perfect for rocket scientists both young and old. They make their rockets astoundingly durable to withstand the rigors of space travel. A snap to assemble. This project is all flight, no fight. It practically pops out of the box and pulls itself together. You'll want to take some time to admire your work. Though you can run the missile on air alone, it goes much higher if you give it a little water. Anti-gravity's two-stage rocket works just like our soccer ball example, where the first stage gives it a great big kick upwards and the second stage lets the insides escape more slowly to push it even higher. From 50 feet away, you power up the rocket using a bicycle pump. <laughs> and with so many people watching, this is your chance to show off. When you can't pump any more air in, it's time to pull the filling hose to fulfill your destiny. Or at least to launch the rocket. The rocket may be up in the sky for quite a while. So you may want to bring along some knitting, or a book to read, or a red pencil to mark how high it went. When it finally returns, you'll be happy that it's got a soft bumper on the front, unlike a baseball. See how big the rocket is? No more nandy pambing around with tiny plastic toys. By comparison, see how much smaller the space shuttle is. The shuttle costs around a hundred billion dollars, plus the price of two AA batteries. So don't just kick around the idea of rockets when the inexplicable urge to pierce the sky hits you. Think VaporTech. VaporTech 2 from Anti-Gravity Research Corporation. Fulfill your destiny.